Hey guys, Nick with Yuko here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the large V10 pedal upgrade kit and installing it on an Inmotion V8. This kit is available on our website right now, yugo.us, under the parts sections for both the V8 and V5 electric unicycles, so it'll work for both those models. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the only tools you're going to need for this installation are a size 4 and 5 hex bit. You can either use bits in a drill like I'm using, or just regular T-handles, or even Allen keys if you have those. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is just remove the stock pedal, like you would do for a tire change or something like that. Use the size 4 bit for this bottom set screw that holds the axle in place and use the size 5 for the main set screws. Now sometimes this might happen if the white plastic piece does not come out attached to the actual set screw, that's okay. You'll just need to use a hammer and maybe something like a screwdriver to help hammer that pedal axle out. So let's do the other side. You can see this is what it's supposed to look like. The plastic piece is supposed to be attached to the set screw. So since it's stuck on this side, we're going to stick in a screwdriver or just something really long and thin, and we're going to hammer out that way. And the piece comes out just like that. So this is what's actually responsible for giving the pedals that resistance on in-motion wheels. You can see without it, the pedal is just free to flop around. We can just go ahead and put that right back in the set screw where it came from, and that'll be good for reassembly. So next we'll just take out the axle and you'll notice that the spacers might fall in this gap here. That's totally okay. The way you get those is that you just spin the wheel with a decent amount of speed and they will get pushed to the outside. So you can see I have one and I have the other. So we're not going to be needing the old pedals, spacers or axle because that's what comes included in the kit. We are going to be reusing these three set screws though so be sure to hold on to these. So the installation process is super simple. It's just like putting on the old pedal, but with new parts. So we're going to put the rod through, get one of the spacers, put that on there, and then just find the hole and push it through. So this part can be a little tricky. We're going to put on the second spacer. So what you want to do is push this through until you just barely see peeking out of this other side. We're going to sort of try our best to get the spacer on there. If it falls too far down, you might want to use something like that small screwdriver from earlier to help sort of finagle it into place from the bottom. And there you go. It should slide freely through. Now in order to get the axle centered, what I like to do is put my thumb maybe around a centimeter, centimeter and a half from the edge of my screwdriver, and this will be my measuring stop. So I push it all the way in, and I stop when my thumb hits the edge of the pedal. I do that on the other side, and if it goes in too much, then I push on this side a little bit more, or if it doesn't go in enough, then I push on this side a bit more. It seems to be pretty even for me, so that means the pedal rod is centered in there. So now we can grab our size 4 and put this one back in first to lock that axle in place. So then we're going to get our size 5 bit and put the main set screws back in place. And these should be tightened pretty tightly in order to give that sense of resistance that holds the pedals up. And that's pretty much it. Give it a quick test to make sure it slightly resists your movement so it'll stay folded. And there you go. The process is exactly the same on the other side, so I'll just go ahead and replace the other pedal really quick. So something that just happened, I've never actually had this happen to me before, but the spacer has gone up inside and it's now resting on the pedal hanger. But don't worry, to solve this, we just flip the wheel up and there we go. We see the spacer slides right down. So we can go ahead and put that off to the side and then continue on.
And there we go. Both new large pedals are installed on this InMotion V8. These pedals are gonna give you better control over your wheel and it'll also lead to less foot fatigue for longer rides. And just for reference, this process is gonna be the exact same on the smaller InMotion V5. Just be sure to follow the steps we just went through exactly. Well, there you have it. Thank you for coming along with me for the installation process of the new large V10 pedal upgrade kit. Again, available right now at Yuko.us under the parts sections for the InMotion V8 and V5 EUCs. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment below letting us know what you'd like to see more of from us. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that red button down there and I will see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.